Hi, my name is Aaron Ford. I'm training manager here at TechSoup. This video summarizes the checkout and fulfillment processes for on-premise Microsoft donated products and on-premise Microsoft discounted products without software assurance. Here I've navigated to a Microsoft donated product. The process we're outlining will be the same for all Microsoft donated products, as well as Microsoft discounted products without software assurance. Since I haven't yet logged into TechSoup, I'm presented with a login button. I log in. That button now changes from a button that said login to a button that says add to cart. I'm confident this is the product I'm looking for, so I'll click that. I'm now presented with a screen that instructs me to get validated at Microsoft for Nonprofits. I'll click on Go to Microsoft for Nonprofits to get there. When registering at Microsoft for Nonprofits, you'll create an onmicrosoft.com domain. If you've already been validated for Microsoft for Nonprofits, you can enter that valid domain here. We'll look now at registering your organization at Microsoft for Nonprofits. I've navigated to Microsoft for Nonprofits by clicking a link at TechSoup.org. I'll click Register Now. I'll begin by filling out information for myself. For contact location, include the location of your organization. You can select or deselect marketing emails and info sharing if you'd like. Check your email to get a verification code from Microsoft. Once you verify you have access to your email address, you can fill out information for your organization. After entering organization info, you'll need to provide a valid phone number. This is to let Microsoft know that you're not a robot. You can choose to verify the number by text or by phone call. In step four, you'll be asked to create a user ID, which looks a lot like an email address. It consists of a username, and an onmicrosoft.com domain separated by an at symbol. You'll need that domain later to add a Microsoft product to your cart at TechSoup.org. As we see on this screen, you'll need to wait up to seven days for an update on this validation. It's usually faster than that. Now that the registration at Microsoft for Nonprofits has been submitted, I have two emails from Microsoft. I have one labeled Get Started with Your New Nonprofit Portal Trial from Microsoft. And I have another that says We've Received Your Request for Nonprofit Status from Microsoft Nonprofit. This email contains my onmicrosoft.com domain. It also includes an email address that I'll use from now on to log in at Microsoft for Nonprofits. We'll look now at what to do after your Microsoft for Nonprofits account has been validated. Now that your Microsoft Nonprofit account is validated, you can return to TechSoup and enter your onmicrosoft.com domain. In step two, Microsoft asks that you let them know that you accept TechSoup as your provider for Microsoft products at the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. To do that, click on Open Microsoft 365 Admin Center. This is also where you'll go to manage your Microsoft on-premise licenses. The link from TechSoup takes me to a page where I can authorize TechSoup as my provider of Microsoft products.
you can see that TechSoup is now authorized as my provider. Once you've authorized TechSoup as a provider, click Verify Domain and Authorization. TechSoup will quickly check with Microsoft to see that everything is in order. This product will then be successfully added to your cart and you can continue the checkout process. We'll look now at the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. This is where you'll go once your products have been fulfilled through TechSoup. Once my products have been fulfilled, I'll find them at the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. And this will take 24 hours. Using any browser, I navigate to admin.microsoft.com. I log in using the email that I generated when I created my Microsoft for Nonprofits account. To find my purchases, I expand the menu on the left and locate your products in the billing section. Under Microsoft products, we see the cloud products we procured, as well as nonprofit portal trial, which is our access to Microsoft for nonprofits. This can be ignored. On-premises licenses can be found under software. I've had one product here fulfilled through TechSoup, Microsoft Access. To open a product, I click on the name. To download the software, click Download. For Microsoft Office apps for PCs, like Microsoft Access, I click on this link to launch the Microsoft deployment tool. During software installation, I'll need an activation key, which I can get by clicking Show Activation Keys. If the software appears in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, but I don't see a download button, that means the window to download the software has expired. In order to download the software, I'll need to contact TechSoup to have them refresh the product. Other products such as Windows upgrades download as an ISO file. Finally, we'll head back to TechSoup.org and show you some ways to search our site for additional resources regarding Microsoft. If you need more help with downloading or installing Microsoft products or with understanding the process, we have a number of resources. To find our frequently asked questions, you can go to our help section and you can search the FAQ with a pop-up. I'm just going to type in Microsoft. I'll find here the latest updated information about downloading and installing Microsoft software, as well as some tips at the Microsoft for Nonprofits website. I can also search the entire website of TechSoup.org by using the search magnifying glass at the top right corner. If I type in Microsoft, I get a bunch of product pages related to Microsoft. I also have some related pages on the left side, including a page for Microsoft for nonprofits. If I click on the resources tab up here, I find a lot of blogs and articles related to Microsoft topics. Again, here are places that I'll go to find updated information about the Microsoft for Nonprofit program. We hope you found this informational video useful. We look forward to continuing to serve nonprofits and we'll see you next time.